A stand with Sam campaign has been started in Ilford, East London. MP Barry Gardiner came to support Sam Terry yesterday along with the other supporters around the town. Speaking to Chalta TV, Sam and Barry told people need to stand up with right candidate who can fight for their rights and support Sam in order to the people's rights. More details in this report. And Sam is a decent MP who speaks his mind, who speaks up against it and who tackles the Tories. That's why I'm supporting him. I Stand With Sam campaign has been started in Ilford, East London. MP Barry Gardner came to support Sam Terry yesterday along with the other supporters around the town. Speaking to Chalta TV, Sam and Barry told people need to stand up with the right candidate who can fight for their rights and support Sam in order to fight for people's rights. We're campaigning here in Ilford South. I'm standing for reselection in the battle inside the Labour Party to be the next candidate here in Ilford South. I think I've got a phenomenal track record of delivering for our communities, of standing up for Ilford in Parliament, but also delivering here, standing up to the council, standing up to corruption, ensuring that people here have a real voice in Parliament but also locally, it's genuinely on their side. I'm not asking for favours, I'm asking for people's support. I'm not offering dodgy deals, I'm asking for their support because of what I stand for. Whether it be on international issues, national issues, challenging the government, getting knife crime and more money into our local community to fund police by challenging the Prime Minister directly the Prime Minister's questions, whether it be taking up the cause of Zara Alina, who's uh, terribly murdered here in, in Ilford a few months ago, or even challenging and challenging again about the lack of council housing and against all the luxury housing developments that have been brought into Ilford without the requisite support for GP surgeries or school places. You know, this has to stop and we need an MP that stands up, that isn't in anyone's pocket and is prepared to take a stance on these sorts of issues. And, you know, on international issues, we have one of the most diverse communities in the whole of the UK here. We have people from every part of, of Asia, whether that be India, whether it be Bangladesh, whether it be Pakistan, multitude of African countries, multitude of other places, on, on many of those communities I have relentlessly stood up for the issues that matter to them, whether that be on Kashmir, whether that be on Palestine, whether that be building bilateral relationships with Bangladesh. My track record is second to none and that's why I believe that many people in Ilford South are backing me to be reselected as the candidate to win again here in Ilford South. I got the second best result in Labour Party history here in Ilford South, a majority of nearly 25,000 votes because I know the people in Ilford South want someone who stands for and believes the things I do and will continue to do that without fear or favour. It's straight. It shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't be fighting ourselves in the Labour Party. We should be fighting the Conservatives. They're the ones that are ruining this country. They're the ones who, you know, this Friday will be putting through a budget that is giving tax cuts for the richest people in the land and is actually putting the utility bills out of control for people, ordinary people, who just can't afford it. We've had far too long of the Conservatives grinding people down, wage levels that are now lower than they were 12 years ago, and yet they're now saying to people, you'll pay an extra thousand or so pounds at your energy bills, and at the same time, we're going to cut your wages even further in terms of inflation, because we're not going to give you a pay rise that's in line with inflation. This is wrong. And Sam, He's a decent MP who speaks his mind, who speaks up against it and who tackles the Tories. That's why I'm supporting him. He and I don't agree on some issues. That's fine. That's within the Labour Party. But the point is this. Let's get out there and fight the Conservatives, not each other.